I wanted to walk you through my uh, Cayenne laser driver and relay driver board that I've been mocking up in Fusion 360. Uh, there's actually three Cayenne devices on here. There's the Cayenne laser 3 amp device, which is really sort of this row. And then there's the uh, 5 amp laser driver. I actually already created this one a while ago but I want to rework it to be on this board and then this sort of line is the 120 volt 12 volt relay combo I need to be able to control my uh, air pump it's an air compressor uh, but it also has a 12 volt relay to drive the fans that cool it so they'll sort of operate at the same time this is the 12 volt relay for that and this is the 120 volt relay um, and each one of these is, uh, this is its own node MCU for the air coolant. This is the node MCU for the um, 5 amp laser. And this one is for 3 amp laser. It's connected in the back with an ATX pin because this is actually a um, 5 and a quarter inch drive sled. And the thought is that I can use a computer case and the uh, power supply in it to give me my 5 volt and 12 volt rails from uh, a nice, those are pretty cheap power supplies, but they're pretty good quality. And then I can just stack more and more Cayenne devices in the 5 and a quarter inch drive, but these also have really nice little tabs to pull this out and service it and then slide it back in. My only concern is that maybe these antennas don't work all that well on these Node MCUs, on these ESP8266s, 826, uh, once it's in there. But I'm going to give it a whirl anyway. I, I did test it out a little bit and stuck them in there. and They seem to be okay. I have the connectors on the front. This connector is actually the sync pin, so it's the most critical pin. This uh, is connected to the Tiny G coolant pin. And it's really just an on-off signal that is then connected to an input on each one of these node MCUs. They all run independently, but uh, the Cayenne protocol essentially uploads commands into the flash RAM of each one of these. Each command has an ID number that Chili Pepper generates. And then as the sync command, these are all said to sort of set the counter at zero. And then as it sees the sync command, it runs whatever command is sitting there on flash memory. So four megabytes is plenty of space to run a synchronized job with. It's not uploading all G code. It's just uploading each individual command with an ID number. And then it just watches the count. It's a pretty cool concept uh, that I came up with that I have uh, been using very successfully. And I think it's gonna work well. And so I'll keep kind of telling you guys how that's all um, coming together. Underneath here, by the way, are um, just the pins for the uh, Node MCU, and those will all kind of connect with just little connector wires. Uh, on the 3 amp driver, by the way, there's an INA219 current sensor that goes right here. Um, and that's because this little Cayenne device will report back a real time probably every 250 or 500 milliseconds um, the current reading from the laser. Likewise on the 5 amp one this is a, um, a, a current sensor as well that's a higher powered one for the 5 amp so I believe it's an ACS712 and then the laser driver I just don't have it rendered it goes right here. Um, the other thing I would maybe explain oh just dollar wise you know, Node MCU, I'm getting these days for about three bucks. This little guy's maybe two dollars, the little current sensor, and these drivers that are three amp are about nine dollars, and this relay is a, like a dollar. So to do a full, amazing, uh, controllable laser driver is, uh, I don't know, what, under fifteen dollars. Same thing here. This current sensor is a few bucks, and then this five amp driver is a little bit more, but I think it, I think I got it for like sixteen dollars. Um, so these node MCUs are just so cheap that that's why it's easy to almost create like three independent ones. I wanted the USB connector in the front too because I need to be able to connect in to upload the code. But then I disconnect and I just connect this back to a USB hub inside the old computer um, case 
that will then power these. That's the only downside to Node MCUs I've noticed is that you can't power them unless you plug a USB plug in. There's no sort of way to do it. And I think the reason is, is that it's just too hard to power these um, with like an auto switcher, like what the Arduinos have on them. So I think that'll work fine. And then the, uh, the laser uh, three amp will connect into here, the positive and negative. The five amp laser will connect to here. And for here, this is just the 12 volt to my fans on my air compressor. And I, I still gotta kinda figure out how to pull the 120 volts forward. So that's it for the rundown on the um, the three Cayenne devices that I'm putting onto one five and a quarter inch drive sled uh, for chili pepper.